Good morning. Today's topic is global spatial autocorrelation or testing for clustering. This is in contrast to local spatial autocorrelation, which tests for the actual location of the clusters. With clustering, there is no test for an actual location. The outline of today is first, we have the slides organized into four broad topics. We start with a discussion of the joint count statistics, which are statistics for variables that are binary, 0, 1. Then we move on to the most applied spatial autocorrelation statistic, Moran's I, and we also briefly discuss an alternative, Geary C. The third topic deals with a visualization of the spatial autocorrelation statistic in the Moran scatter plot. This also starts to make the transition to concepts of local spatial autocorrelation, and that we're going to subdivide the scatter plot into different types of spatial autocorrelation. And finally, we close with a discussion of an alternative approach based on a non-parametric reasoning, where there is no spatial weights matrix used in the statistic, but instead it's a general function of distance. In terms of the readings, we have my discussion and introduction of the Moran scatter plot, which gives a motivation and also an illustration. And then the additional materials are fairly technical. The Cliff and Ord Chapter 2 in their classic Spatial Processes book uh, deals with a fairly technical treatment of the distribution of the joint count, Moran's I, and Geary C statistics under the null hypothesis with their moments, etc. Then the other two articles deal with uh, non-parametric spatial autocorrelation. The paper by Bjornstedt and Falk introduces a way to measure spatial covariance non-parametrically, and the paper by Conley and Ligon provides an example of an application to an economic topic and using the concept of economic distance. So the overview of today is first joint count statistics, then Moran's I, then the Moran scatter plot, and finally non-parametric spatial autocorrelation.